Imagine when you had when you and your friends had sex for the first time. Just don't say, don't say, just. Don't say. <laughs> <laughs> just friends. Mm? You and your friends. Just and then now imagine when you in when your parent generation had sex for the first time. And then imagine when your uh, when your grandfather's generation have sex for the first time. Do you see any difference? Yeah. Is it different? What is the difference? I think it's getting early. Early. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yes. Nowadays, many young people have se have sex for the first time very earlier than the past. And then, in actual, in British, a quarter, a quarter of women had experienced, a quarter of women experienced the sex for the first time under 16. It is in British. And then, so, at the same time, the, per, per, the probability of pregnancy is increasing. Because they have, they know sex, but they don't know how to protect them, uh, how to contracept, how to pra practice how to contraceptives, themselves. how to contracept, how to protect. How Protect is okay. Oh, how to protect themselves. And so, today I'm going to talk about doctor should be allowed to pre prescribe contraceptive pills and for girls under 16. And now there are many, some ways to protect themselves. First, the common thing is condoms. In Asian in Canada too, I think. Condoms are very common to protect. And then, but, um, and but condoms have some disadvantages. I'm talking about this later. And in Sweden, the common, pro common way to protect is pills. So, And then, in many countries, uh, doctors are allowed to prescribe pills to uh, to the girls over 16. But in many countries, I couldn't find where. But I think almost no countries uh, can. Uh, in almost no countries, the doctors are allowed to prescribe pills for girls under 16. And now. I think many girls are having sex under 16, so it is same as girls who have sex over 16. So I think I, uh, they should be allowed to uh, prescribe to avoid pregnant, to avoid getting pregnant. So first, I'm, to, I'm going to address about how good is pills. First, the probability of pregnancy is the lowest compared to other contraceptions. Uh, rate? Ah, rate. Rate of pregnancy. Pregnancy. This is almost 100%. And then, the second, it is very inexpensive. It is not cheap, but not expensive. It is around, um, if you want to take a pill, take, take pills, you have to pay 20 to 50 dollars per month. It is not cheap, but not expensive. But it's affordable, I think. But, and then, the third is uh, that you won't lose sexual feeling because condoms, for example, condoms, 
uh, when men use condoms, they lose a little of sexual feelings. So some boys don't want to use condoms. Right? And so it is good because in they in they don't lose condom ah they don't lose sexual feelings. So uh, people won't hesitate to take. feel like some girls feel sick or like morning sick when you got pregnant but and um, it's only for the beginning so if once you get used to take pills you won't feel sick and you won't feel anything important thing I think women can protect themselves because sometimes women, uh, men don't want to wear condoms right as I said and then we women need a lot of courage to ask men to wear condoms so if women can protect themselves it's really uh, it, the sex won't be so stressful for them disadvantages <coughs> and the, pr the yeah, probability of pregnancy is much higher than pills and because sometimes men can't wear proper properly so and condoms are really thin so sometimes if you it, it is torn without people's notice so So the probability of getting pregnant, pregnant is 30 to 120 times higher than uh, pills. 30 to 120 times higher. Okay. And then in addition, it is said that if 100 people use condoms and have sex, and 12 of them will be pregnant. It's really a lot. And then, also, I, I already said, but Uma, uh, even even you use condom condoms, people, uh, women is not sure if they are pregnant or not. Sometimes they are worried about it when pregnant didn't, doesn't come. But for pills, it doesn't ha it won't happen. So these are good things. Uh, and also, taking pills is easy. Just women have to take every day, every day, every day in the morning. And then they first take 21 for 21 days. And then take, they, they take, rest, take a rest for 7 days. And then they had their pregnant, uh, no, had period. And then again they start take, uh, they had to start taking pills every morning for 21 days. Just repeat this circle. And then, um, some people, oh, 